Less hassle, less money, and less confusion. Many people traveling from Canada to the U.S. are thankful they won't have to provide a negative COVID-19 test result before returning home. Two hours just to research what you need to do to get in and out of borders and things like that. Jen Pazell and Aaron Keatla say the change will encourage them to travel south more often. It's exciting. Um, I'm a teacher, so I like to go back and forth during break. I think it matches what they're doing because they're removing the, the vaccine mandate for um, like restaurants and things like that. Travel and tourism groups have been calling for the test requirement to be dropped, claiming it's not justified by science and placing a logistical and financial burden on travelers. BC's tourism minister says she hopes for a visitor boom on both sides of the border. This is going to be a big deal for the small and medium businesses that have been holding on um, for this moment uh, to, to allow the restrictions to be set aside safely. Many of whom rely heavily on Canadian visitors. Welcome back to you know, the Costco's and the Walmart's and the Bellis Fair malls of uh, the community. But our smaller border towns that those dollars impact. Some of these smaller businesses still trying to stay open after November's devastating floods. So when you look at especially the Everson, the Nooksack, the Sumas communities, this border reopening is significant. The federal government says with high vaccination rates among Canadians, it's the right time to drop the mandatory testing. I think it's fair to say that we are now entering into a transition phase of this pandemic. As the weather warms, and people spend more time outside, we can expect to see transmission decline in the coming months. Despite pre-entry test requirements lifting, travelers will still have to use the Arrive Can app to enter their vaccination status before arriving in Canada. Those who do not may be tested upon arrival and will have to quarantine for 14 days, regardless of their vaccination status. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Surrey.